Welcome to the Poor Choice video series. My name is John McClellan. I'm here every week drinking and talking about the worst liquor on earth. Now, one of the most asked questions I get doing this show is, what is the most unpleasant thing I've drank on this show? It's odd. Nobody seems to want to know what I actually like. Nobody asks me, what's my favorite drink? Maybe assuming that I've torched my taste buds after doing about 40 episodes of this thing. So how do I determine a favorite? It's not as easy as it sounds. What's your favorite food? It's not the one you don't have unless somebody else is paying the bill. Your favorite food is the one you have when you're sad, and it makes you happy. It's the one you have when you're sick, and it makes you feel better. It's the food you can and will eat every day. What's your favorite song? It's not the one that makes you look like an underappreciated rock critic. Your favorite song is the one that you've listened to more than any other song, and it gets you into that magic headspace, whether you're high or whether you're low. So what's my favorite booze? I had to think about that one using the same parameters that I laid out earlier for food and song. It has to be not only something I enjoy drinking, but evokes memories of youth and accomplishment, a liquor that solidifies the idiopathic quality or uniqueness, so you don't have to look that word up, that I've built up during my life. After some deliberation, I decided my favorite alcohol is cream ale. So what exactly is cream ale? Well, cream ale is lighter than normal ales. It's got a refreshing taste. It's a very easy drinking beer. It was also cheaper since cream ale only takes about two thirds of the time to make than regular beer and that lower price point made it the selection for up and coming binge drinkers. So why is cream ale my favorite? It was the name that first set it apart, cream ale. Even though there's no cream to it, it just sounded better. Like having the nicest house on a crappy street, cream ale gives you the illusion of luxury. And the makers of cream ale played into this by providing distinctive packaging, such as little seven ounce bottles, long neck bottles, or brightly colored cans so you could show off. Cream ale had street cred too, which allowed you to drink from colorful cans and tiny bottles without looking like you were fighting your way through your very first beer. Cream ale for me, was the beta version of having my own drink. But ultimately, the thing that pushes cream ale to the top of the list is how I enjoy it now, with a cigar. I call this combination the crazy uncle, and I developed it as kind of a moat to keep people from bothering me when I was trying to watch a ball game or something. You see, inside that metaphoric moat is the same feeling I get from my favorite food or my favorite song. That's why cream ale is my number one. And I chose the name Crazy Uncle because having a cream ale and a cigar sounds like something your crazy uncle would do. And to also honor all of my crazy uncles that help shape my sense of humor. Even though my crazy uncles never drank cream ale or smoked cigars, they are directly responsible for what I think is funny. My one crazy uncle always came out of left field. The other one, he liked those showstopper lines. The perfectly timed quip that ends the discussion. My uncles drove my dad a little crazy, as brothers are prone to do, and I envied that, so I waited for my chance to do the same. One day, it finally came on a phone call with my dad. My dad would take you through long journeys with his story, so you had to look for exit doors if you didn't want to be in the conversation anymore. On this day, the conversation was about a subject that would have most people running for the exit door very quickly, anti-diarrhea medicine. My father explains that there's one brand of this medicine that's better than all the other brands of the medicine. Now, that's the first exit door, and I don't take it. Instead, I ask him, how do you know that? How many have you tried? My father says he knows this because his brother and my uncle had turned him on to it. Now, not only am I not the first person he's having this conversation with, I've also missed the exit door again when I ask him, what does he know that we as citizens don't know about this? Your uncle doesn't have an anus. All right, I'm, I'm not looking for the exit door anymore. <laughs> I'm in this thing now. 
What do you mean he doesn't have an anus? How is that possible? My dad responds flatly. He had it removed. He had it surgically removed. In that instant, I summoned up all my left field and all my showstopper powers and said maybe the funniest thing I've ever said off the top of my head in my life. Did he have it done for cosmetic reasons? There was a, a long pause, and my dad broke the pause by saying, all right, let me get your mother on the phone. I wasn't drunk, but man, that was the cream ale talking. That was the crazy uncle doing the talking. Normally I use this section of the show to make some jokes about how to use what I drank in a comical way. However, today, I just want to raise a toast. And I will ask you to do the same. A little cream ale for every crazy uncle in your life. Here's to my dad, my uncles, and every crazy uncle that watches this show.